Hi, welcome to Free Edu Hub. As you know, we are covering a course on ethical hacking. We covered passive reconnaissance, then we covered active reconnaissance, and now we are covering enumeration and exploitation. For that, there is a concept that we need to cover, which is NetBIOS. Now, NetBIOS is a network basic input and output system. It is a system of network service that enables applications on different computers to communicate with each other across local area network, which is LAN. It was developed in 1980s uh, for use uh, on early IBM developed PC networks, etc. But it is still used on Windows platforms. Now, just to tell you that I am on my virtual machine at the moment, and I have uh, a number of virtual machines running on VMware Workstation, which is Kali Linux. Then I have Windows 11, Windows 7, 10, and Windows Server 2022. So we are performing some tasks on Windows 7 today in order to scan other computers on the network. Now the reason of choosing Windows 7 is because Windows 10 and Windows 11 comes in uh, built-in uh, uh, Windows uh, security suite because of which it is blocking some of the applications to be installed on those uh, platforms. So Windows 7 is relatively easier to handle so that's why I'm using this machine to scan the other computers which are there on my network. Now the softwares that we'll be covering today um, uh, would be uh, first of all we'll be looking at NetBIOS enumerator that is used to uh, check different softwares on the network uh, then we'll be looking at uh, Win fingerprint uh, that would scan the uh, different computers on the network of course we'll be covering super scan and then we'll be looking at hyena as well so let's start from super scan um, in super scan that's the basic interface of it uh, so that it would show you some of the devices which are there on the network on host and discovery it's even asking for the echo request and udp and tcp scans if you want to scan it accordingly scan options you can define how aggressive you want it to be and uh, uh, there are different tools that we'll be checking and then windows emulator uh, um, uh, would be checking about some of the details related to the registry and some of the websites so um, just to give some details over here as uh, we are there on our windows 7 machine uh, so for that uh, i have an ip address with me which is uh, um, 192.168.189.131. Uh, so I'll enter it over here. Now, if you want to find the IP address of your computer, um, you can go to run and type CMD. You'll get a command prompt. Here you'll enter IP config and it will show you the IP address, which is 192.168.189.131 that I'll be using today. So I'll enter the IP address. Now I'll enter the starting and ending IP range that I would scan my computers on. So I'll enter 192.168.189 and my IP addresses are starting from 128 and they are going up to 132. Now you can select the entire subnet as well, but of course it's going to take a lot of time to scan all the computers. But since I'm testing it in a virtual environment, I have only four to five pieces which are running. So I'll be targeting those computers for these scans. So in order to enter this range, I'll enter the IP addresses, then I'll enter this button. So it would select the range that I would like to scan. Now, once that's done, you'll press play. Now it would sc start scanning these computers and it would check different details which are available for these set of PCs. Now, as you can see, it has finished scanning. It found some hosts uh, saying total live host discovered R4, uh, total UDP ports which are open R4, and uh, you can get further details over here if you'll scroll down it would give you all the other details about it if you want to see the uh, details in html that's a complete report which is generated and uh, uh, you can scroll and find out the details of the pcs which it has identified uh, the target pc which is windows 11 its related services then windows uh, 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 10 machine uh, having its own details for that and this is for windows 7 and what were the ports which were available for that and rest of the things 
Now, if you'll go to um, the host and service delivery, etc., you can select the services and the ports that you would like to scan. Um, you can enter the port number. Of course, there are 65,535 um, ports on the computer, but if you'll scan all the ports, it's going to take a lot of time. So you can scan uh, ports which are related to um, your own um, exercise or whatever you want to check on the network. Now in scan options, uh, again as I told you, it depends how aggressive you want it to be. You'll select the options over here. In tools, we can check certain things, maybe a website um, for which we want to get some details off. So um, just to check a website, I can enter www.go.com and let's try to get some details of it where it would be checking it from who is uh, network solutions we used a similar software earlier which was sam spade it is another tool that we use in order to scan the um, net bios devices on the uh, network or on the internet so once that's done you can click on hostname and ip scan so as you can see it's resolving the ip addresses for that uh, website um, if you will try to ping uh, the address it would ping and it would say that the response that it is receiving from that specific website if you will check for the trace route it would try to resolve all the uh, routes how it's reaching the destination as you can see it has shown us all the routes how to reach the destination then if i'll click on zone transfer it is uh, uh, checking for that but since it's used for the domain names etc uh, it's not going to work over here if we want to check the header info on the website it would tell us the apache server uh, which is uh, running uh, on this website it means that the website is hosted on an apache server which is a linux uh, the location is disney and the connection is closed at the moment since we have scanned it if we'll try to get the http um, uh, request for um, get as well uh, https get request it is showing us the ip address for that and if we want to get the details about the domain name um, it is going to uh, uh, the address and it's saying that uh, uh, don't include www for the subdomain so we'll remove it from here and we'll try to check it again and uh, no his record is available at the moment which it can search on their domain if you uh, want to check other details about that um, it is telling you about the uh, domain name servers etc and rest of the details about the website if you'll check for ripe um, it would try to gather some information for that also and apnic who is ip address also is trying to look up for all those details for this specific website so that's about the tools if we'll go to windows enumeration here again we can enter an ip address and check the details related to that for example here also if we'll use go.com and uh, we'll try to enumerate and see if we can get some results uh, for that or not since it's on the internet it cannot get all these details about the shares and rest of the things so um, uh, you cannot use it for that maybe we can use an ip address of one of the computers that we have on our network so we'll enter 192.168.189 um dot for example 131 which is uh, this computer on which uh, um, we are practicing all these exercises as you can see it has uh, uh, it has uh, listed lots of other things which are available on this computer windows 7 workstation name group unique id and uh, uh, the null session was successful and it has some shares running on this one then we have different entries and uh, um, the object ids etc which are listed over here then it's even talking about the shares on the domain and the um, uh, different services which are running on this computer so that's the complete enumeration of all these things if you want any specific things out of these um, you can select those as well now if i want to scan another computer on my network for example windows 11 machine which is 129 and i'll press enumerate it would get the details for that as well and it would list it for all the services which are running on it and uh, uh, scanning the network for the possible uh, things which a penetration tester or a hacker would be 
looking into so uh, that's about super scan um, next try to see uh, win fingerprint and it's the same thing that it's asking for the IP range and as I told you I our IP range starts from 1 to 8 and it's going all the way to 132 and if I want to check certain details about uh, uh, the MAC addresses, disk, sessions or groups etc date and time I can choose the options and then I can select the TCP IP uh, and SNMP uh, devices and timeout sessions for that and uh, if you want to select an IP list you can select it from here uh, for a single host you can select or if you want to search for a neighborhood you can click on it I'm selecting for the IP range which is 1282132 and we'll scan and it would get all the details of the PCs which are there on my network so let's press scan now as you can see it's scanning and it has completed the uh, scan as you can see it is showing us the computers uh, the disks uh, which it has uh, the default shares uh, and the services which are running on all those different computers even the SID which is a unique uh, security identifier for the account um, the name of the account which is available on that computer and then uh, rest of the details of the second operating system C and D drives on that um, uh, whether it's a workstation or a normal PC what are the default shares for that and the services which are running on our Windows 7 machine plus the groups which are available on that computer then it's going to our um, host which is 131 which is uh, um, the Windows 7 machine moving to Windows 10 machine it's even showing the shares of that machine the services which are running and uh, then it's going to the groups uh, security identifier account administrator and uh, the other details so um, that's how um, they use win fingerprint in order to get the basic details of the computers on the network now the next tool that we have is hyena now it works very well if you are on a domain environment where your computer is part of the domain so it would scan all the computers on the network and it would show you the details for that and you can even modify the things on this one so since it's running on this computer at the moment which is windows 7 um, it is even telling us the details about the c drive and other things uh, local connections um, the default shares which are there on this computer the user accounts which are here uh, local user accounts uh, printers if we have any the shares that are default on this computer uh, sessions open files services events and uh, rest of the things so you can scan the computers through it you can even check the computers which are available on the network um, uh, which can be scanned through this software now if you'll click on function it would allow you to add the domain even you can export the results in your excel sheet or in the database it would show the uh, uh, the default shares for admin only or hidden shares etc um, even if you'll go to the um, active directory settings queries etc you will be able to make the changes on active directory directly from here and you can make the minor changes from the settings of this software as well quite a handy software uh, in a graphical user interface with the help of which you can manage lots of things uh, um, and uh, stuff which is shared on your computer and you can search for the uh, settings and make the modifications accordingly the last one is we have window um, NetBIOS enumerator which is a software again uh, to scan the nodes and we'll um, enter the IP address over here uh, 192.168.189.128 and uh, uh, to the IP address 192.168.189.132 and we'll try to scan the ports and the uh, basic details that it can fetch from the network as you can see it has uh, shown the things like the domain name and rest of the things the username uh, domain workgroup mac address and other details for that um, uh, the only thing in this software is that it's a very basic software and you'll have to enter the uh, details of different devices that you have on the network like this one it's entered over here 
and the port list that you would like to scan uh, so that it would read it from here and would try to show the results in this one uh, so that was about our uh, session on netbios and uh, how it can be used on the network that's it for today thank you very much